inside the Connecticut country estate of Bunny Williams. As summer draws to a close, my thoughts gravitate towards the timeless charm of country house style, evoking a sense of comfort and nostalgia. The British tradition of shabby gentility, brilliantly introduced to America by Nancy Lancaster, brings together simplicity and elegance, transforming both stately homes and humble dwellings into warm and inviting spaces. Unfortunately, it seems that fewer interior designers and decorators today fully embrace this rich heritage, perhaps overlooking the seemingly random yet purposeful elements that define this aesthetic. However, there are still exceptional individuals like Bunny Williams who embody this tradition and have mastered the art of creating harmonious interiors. Her estate in Falls Village, Connecticut was originally a farmhouse, built in 1780. In 1840, an addition in the formal federal style reshaped the house, adding a touch of grandeur. Subsequently, in the 1930s, a second story with charming dormer windows emerged atop the carriage house wing. When Bunny Williams stumbled upon the dilapidated property, it presented her with a blank canvas, a hidden gem showcasing the right amount of age and patina. Together with her husband, Bunny embarked on a journey to breathe new life into this once neglected space, infusing it with her vision of country house style. Over the course of nearly four decades, Bunny's unwavering passion for gracious living and her deep love for home have transformed this enchanting estate into a haven that warmly embraces family, friends, and cherished pets. In the past, the entry hall exuded a vibrant and inviting ambiance, with its warm cantaloupe glaze and bright white painted floors creating a cheerful atmosphere that welcomed guests throughout the year. However, as time passed, subtle changes were made. The Greek key border at the crown molding was eventually removed, as seen in her book, An Affair with a House, and the charmingly painted Italian chairs gave way to simpler English ones. Today, the entry hall has undergone a captivating transformation it now boasts a sophisticated and nautical neutral color palette that subtly shifts from green to blue to gray, lending an air of complexity and depth. The floors have been stained dark and embellished with a darker stencil design, which adds a touch of pattern and visual interest. The overall atmosphere is now one of quiet elegance, with a more restrained and carefully curated aesthetic. To inject a hint of glamorous style, a new leopard patterned stair runner has been introduced, elevating the space to new heights of allure. To the left is the living room. It has undergone a captivating evolution, transitioning from a chintz-filled homage to English country house style to a refined and quietly elegant space. In an image published in House Beautiful in 1987, Bunny Williams made significant changes, removing the floral wallpaper and curtains and replacing them with solid materials. The exact treatment of the windows, whether stained or painted to match the walls, remains uncertain. Approximately 10 years later, a simpler and lighter aesthetic emerged in the living room. Inspired by the Michelangelo-designed loggia at the Villa San Magelli, the story goes that Bunny was having lunch there and fell in love with the color of the walls. She noticed that the table linens were the same color, and after having a very expensive lunch, she went to the maitre d' and asked if she could purchase one of the napkins. He looked at her bill and told her she could simply have a napkin. And when she went home, she painted the walls herself. 
She added elements to the room in a harmonious blend of browns and greens, incorporated as accents. All of this was artfully done, subtly connecting the interiors to the natural beauty beyond the windows and doors. In an interview with Veranda, Bunny Williams shared her journey, saying, I've come into a confidence that only time gives you. I'm more serene about what I'm doing. The result of her evolution is evident, an exquisite blend of elegance, thoughtful curation, and comfort that engages both our senses and intellect. Until recently, the dining room had been faithfully preserved in its federal style decor. The walls were adorned with green and white striped wallpaper from Twigs and Company, skillfully installed by Bunny herself many years prior. A magnificent table adorned with one of Bunny's cherished antique textiles took center stage, flanked by black painted antique Regency chairs beneath the soft glow of a tall chandelier. This room has always captivated with its effortless blend of refined elegance and the rustic charm of a country home. Today, the dining room has undergone a subtle yet impactful transformation. While the overall layout remains virtually unchanged, the wallpaper has been replaced with a more understated pale faux bois watermark paper. This simple alteration has had a profound effect on the room's aesthetic. The absence of stripes and the introduction of a lighter color scheme have opened up this space, allowing the furniture and artwork to take a center stage. The dining room now exudes a newfound sense of airiness and allows each element within it to shine with its own unique beauty. The kitchen is seamlessly connected to the breakfast room and exudes an atmosphere of warmth and comfort. It skillfully integrates highly organized systems for storing her extensive collections of dinner and service wares. Imagine the delight of a crackling fire on a crisp day, providing the perfect motivation for preparing a delectable feast. The kitchen has remained largely unchanged, with the exception of different dining chairs. The focus here lies in the simplicity and creating a welcoming environment infused with a sense of warmth. The library and its spring and summer attire evokes images reminiscent of a merchant ivory film. Just imagine stepping inside from the garden, a basket overflowing with flowers, adorning the library table. As you take a brief respite for tea and indulge in a few pages of Byron, the walls in their cool and powdery blue glaze are complemented by open floral patterned linen in shades of pale wood, blue, and green. They perfectly coordinate with the pale blue-gray striped linen slipcovers, all sourced from Colfax and Fowler. This room is anchored by a round English chinoiserie lacquered table, adding a touch of elegance. In later years, the library took a richer winter incarnation. The walls painted in golden tawny hues fabrics reminiscent of toasted shades, and a collection of more masculine furniture and art pieces. Today, the room has embraced a more eclectic character. It features Bunny's stylish nailhead sofa and the captivating two-tone black beauty side table, along with vibrant accents in crimson and red ochre. The library has become a testament to Bunny's talent for blending different elements, resulting in a space that is both visually intriguing and inviting for moments of literary escape. Her sunroom has maintained a timeless and consistent design scheme throughout the years. The ceiling is adorned with a captivating blue lavender hue while the floors boast a smoky lavender paint, creating a serene and inviting atmosphere. In early years, the sunroom was adorned with white wicker furniture and slipcovers, 
featuring a charming pink hydrangea pattern. As time went on, the design evolved to feature natural wicker furniture, complemented by white slip covers and cushions with a fern pattern. Presently, the sunroom has taken on a new look with the introduction of black wicker rocking chairs, replacing the previously natural wicker ones. This subtle change adds a touch of sophistication and creates a captivating contrast against the lavender backdrop. The entire room is filled with gorgeous light, and in the winter months, the room can be enclosed in glass so one can still enjoy the room. In the master bedroom, the enduring presence of the four poster bed, bed hangings, curtains, and rug attests to the room's continuity. The heavier curtains and pelmet have given way to simply dress curtains, featuring an open link design. Presently, the master bedroom is painted in a clear robin's egg blue hue, further enhancing the room's lightness and simplicity, infusing the space with a sense of clarity and serenity. The former bed has been replaced with a lighter option, dressed in white and blue imbuing the room with an airier ambiance. The guest rooms share the charms of the master bedroom, carefully crafted interiors in a beautiful warm and inviting essence. After restoring and infusing the main house with Bunny Williams' signature blend of emotion and intellect, Bunny and John turned their attention to the dilapidated 1840s barn that served as a garage. The barn underwent a complete transformation as it was dismantled to its bare bones and rebuilt with French doors replacing the original garage doors and skylights added to flood the space with natural light. The soaring cathedral ceilings and a tall arched window in the living room provide the perfect canvas for incorporating large scale antiques and comfortable seating, reflecting Bunny's eclectic design style. In this space, Victorian armchairs, a Regency bullseye mirror, a 19th century English oak sofa, and a 19th century French marble top table with an iron base from John Rosselli effortlessly mingle. For Bunny, creating the right atmosphere and captivating the essence of a place is paramount. She carefully considers scale, informality, and the uniqueness of each piece, whether it hails from Italy, France, or England. The result is an ambiance that feels unplanned, yet is meticulously curated. In homage to the barn's original purpose, paintings of barnyard animals adorn the back walls of the living room. The focal point of the room is an early American painted mantelpiece, added to enhance the fireplace. The windows, salvaged from an 1860s house on the Hudson River, were incorporated. The conservatory is one of Bunny's favorite rooms in the home, and I would have to agree. She found these stunning windows, the same time period of the home, driving by a junk barn, and knew it was meant to be, for they were perfectly the length of the room. The space features many stunning plants, tropical and non. It is in this magical space that Bunny enjoys hosting dinner parties, and now serves as a gathering place for dining and entertaining guests. It seems as though Bunny and John had developed a deep affection for these spaces, 
spending a significant amount of time enjoying and savoring their unique charm and character they exude. The entire home is surrounded by stunning gardens. Bunny Williams' love for gardening has driven her to cultivate the neglected land. She's incorporated elements such as stone and hemlock hedges and has skillfully created structure and defined formal gardens. The result is a collection of outdoor spaces that exude intimacy and offer a sense of exploration as one moves from one space to another. Throughout the years, Bunny has continued to expand her gardens, adding a cutting garden to provide a space for annuals and vegetables. Additionally, formal parterres have been introduced to beautifully frame the barn and conservatory, adding a touch of elegance and sophistication to the overall landscape. Bunny's dedication to gardening has not only resulted in the creation of stunning outdoor spaces, but has also brought a sense of joy and abundance to her surroundings. She had stated, As far back as my memory takes me, I have been smitten about gardens. I grew up in the rolling countryside of Virginia, where I spent my summers tagging after my mother through beds of flowers and endless rows of tomatoes and cabbages. Often it was my job to pick whatever was ripe, and that is the memory that stays with me now. It's a warm summer afternoon. The light is golden, the birds are chirping, and I'm out there happily picking peas for dinner. Following the installation of a pool, Bunny and John took into consideration its proximity to the main house and conceived a unique solution. A pool house designed in the style of a Greek temple made of logs. This clever design is particularly fitting as the pool house is situated in a wooden knoll, offering it picturesque views of the property. Despite its classical inspired structure, the pool house is constructed using humble materials, adding to its rustic charm. This warm and inviting space has a versatile quality, capable of being transformed for different seasons and occasions. Whether adorned for the vibrancy of summer or the cozy ambiance of autumn, the pool house serves as an inviting retreat that perfectly complements the pool and the surrounding natural beauty. Bunny later acquired a Greek revival house across the street, and since then it has served as the perfect solution for housing her collection of family heirlooms and accommodating overflowing guests. One of the house's most captivating features is the dining room, with a predominantly green scenic mural that envelops the walls. This enchanting mural is further enhanced by accents of colors and blue and white porcelains, creating a harmonious connection with the sky-like hues depicted on the wallpaper. The result is a dining room that exudes charm and welcomes guests with open arms. It's easy to imagine how guests would feel so at home in this delighted space that they may never want to leave. Bunny's latest project was creating an art studio for herself. This space has served as a creative haven where her artistic talents can flourish. This dedicated space serves as a sanctuary for Bunny to explore her passion for art allowing her to experiment with different mediums and techniques. The studio has been thoughtfully designed to inspire and encourage artistic expression with ample natural light streaming through large windows and strategically placed lighting fixtures. Shelves and storage areas are meticulously organized, providing easy access to a wide array of information and materials. The walls of the studio 
display works in progress and things that will soon be. Her studio is a place of inspiration where Bunny can immerse herself in the artistic process and let her imagination run wild. Bunny's home is a true testament to her impeccable design sensibility and unwavering passion for creating spaces that are both beautiful and inviting. Through careful curation, thoughtful details, and a harmonious blend of classic and eclectic elements, Bunny has transformed each room into a unique sanctuary that exudes warmth, elegance, and comfort. Whether it's the library that evokes a sense of literary escape, the cozy and inviting kitchen that serves as the heart of the home, or the enchanting gardens that showcase her love for nature, every space within Bunny's home tells a story and reflects her impeccable taste. It is a place where artistry and functionality seamlessly intertwine, leaving a lasting impression on all those who have the privilege of experiencing its splendor. Bunny Williams' home truly encapsulates the essence of timeless design and serves as an inspiration for creating spaces that are both visually stunning and deeply personal. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video on the Connecticut country estate of Bunny Williams. Be sure to tell me your favorite room in the home in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I'll see you in the next one.